Welcome to this session of Python Code Snippets. Today we're going to be looking at random numbers. Random numbers are really important in your programming, especially if you're creating games, applications that require chance where the outcomes are not always going to be the same. So in some ways it's like rolling a dice. So how can we in Python create a random number? Well, one of the very first things we need to do is actually import the random module. So in Python, just like almost any other object oriented programming languages, chances are that you will find yourself needing to generate a random number at some point. Check out the code snippet below to see how it works to generate a number between 1 and 100. There are two parts to generating a random number. The first is in Python we must import the random module. So this brings all the code that's required to create random numbers and then we can actually create them. We can use the print statement which allows us to output to the user. And I'll put a link in the comments below to a tutorial on using the print statement. Then you can actually see the random.randint bracket one comma 100 bracket bracket. So this should generate a number between one and 100. But before we do that, let's actually have a look at the anatomy of this random code snippet. Well, one of the first things is, is the object. That's the random. We're gonna import the random module into our program and then we want to talk to it. So we want to say random, I want to use you. Then we use what's called a method. A method is a sub part of random. It's like a function or a procedure that we can call. So in this case here is rand int. So what that really means is random integer. So when it generates a random number, it will result a whole number. So if we're looking for a number between one and 100, it could result 27. It won't result 27.2. We also have the start, where we want our number range to begin. And we have a stop, where we want it to end. So in this case here, the random number will be generated between 1 and 100. So all the numbers from number 1 up to 100, including 1 and 100, have a possibility of being presented back to us as an end user. So let's have a look at this in action. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project. I'm using PyCharm. I'll put a link in the comments below if you don't have this IDE. We're going to create a new project. I'm just going to call it examples. Make sure you've got the latest version of Python running. So in this case you've got 3.7. If you don't, just make sure you select it or download the latest version of the Python environment. Once PyCharm's open, we're going to right mouse click examples. We're going to go new and Python file. We're going to give it a name and we're going to call it random. Now the very first thing I do is put in a developer comment. We're going to place our name as the developer. So the first thing we need to do is import the module. So we need to go import and then specify the module, which is random. This brings in all the random components, all the procedures, such as randint that we can use. So what we'd like to do now is output a random number. I'm just going to use the command print and then I'm going to print out random dot randint. Then I can set the start, which is one comma, and then I can set the end, which is a hundred. To check that it's working, I'm just going to run this by right mouse clicking and going run random. You can see my output now in the bottom left hand corner, I have 49. If I run the program again, it selects 84. And you can see that it's generating random numbers. Now another method we could use is ran range. Ran range is part of the random module, but it has a start, a stop and a step. So let's have a look at that in action. So I can go print, then I can go random. Then I can go ran range. Then I can specify the start, the stop, and the step. So let's have a look at this in action. You can now see that the random number generated is 30, 22, 4. So the numbers that are coming out are always even. So it starts at 0 and will pick randomly in 2s. If I would like odd numbers, I'll just copy this and I'll start at one and this will generate odd numbers. Seven, 
47, 85, 27. So it's a way of generating odd and even numbers. If I want to go up in five, so I want um, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, I can just change the step to five. Another method that is very useful is choice. So within the random module, we also have choice. This will randomly select a character out of the set list here. So choice will pick A or D or C randomly from the list that's presented. Let's have a look at this in action. And let's see what character comes out at the end. A B, an E, a G. Now there's several different methods to the random module. If you look online, you can actually see the different methods. So here is randint, ran range, choice. There is also shuffle, sample. And if we scroll to the bottom of this page, you can actually see working examples of the different methods with inside the random module. What I'd like you to do now is see if you can create a random dice. So pause the video and see if you can simulate a dice roll. Okay, welcome back. I hope that it was successful for you. But to generate a dice roll, we can have a look at the programs we've written before. And we know it's an integer. We could use this line of code here. Dice go from one through to six. So what I can now do is go up and change this to a six. So we'll generate numbers between one and six, including one and six. As I run the program now, generates a two, a three, a two, four. So you can see it's fairly quick to create a random dice roll. If I want a 21 sided dice, all I need to change is the six to 21. So in this tutorial, we looked at creating random numbers. I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python snippets.